Hello and welcome to our reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Super Battle Collection Volume 10 Super Saiyan Broly Gold Hair Variant. So yes, I never really intended to get one of these older Dragon Ball Z figures because I really don't like them very much, although, you know, Broly is like one of my favorite things. So I, uh, I saw this and it was like $8, so I, I just had to go ahead and pick it up just for having its sake. Um, it's alright. It's very nicely made. It's a fairly heavy piece of plastic. It's like solid and stuff. Um, there's a normal hair, normal hair, yellow hair version of this. It's, um, yellow instead of gold. Uh, I thought the gold looked a bit cooler anyway, so it was cool that this ended up being what I got. This is essentially the same figure as, like, all the Irwin Toys ones and the other one in this wave, and there's lots of figures that use this mold, essentially all the old Burley figures. I think this is from, like, 1993 or something. It's ridiculously old. It came out, like, when the movie came out in Japan. So that was around 1993. Anyway, um, it looks decent. It's acceptable. It's cool. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulation, sculpt, paint details, all those sorts. All right, starting off with a quick size comparison. Here we have the Battle Collection Broly. And the closest thing to his size is this Max Muscle Mania Broly over here. And he's also roughly the same size as one of the SH figure arts, which is Goku right here. This, of course, over here is the best Broly, the Movie Collection Broly. And this is the Shoto Goku down here. So I essentially pulled out all the Broly's that I have and a couple of Goku's for some size comparisons. Um, he doesn't really fit properly in scale with any of these guys. Uh, he's too short to go with figure arts and he's too tall to go with the Shotos. I guess he's around the same size as this, but, you know. Unless you've got some 4-ish, 5-inch figures to go with him, uh, not really in scale with anything I've got. He's probably in scale with the stuff he's meant to be in scale with, so that's probably fine. Uh, anyway, let's get everyone else out of here and just look at Broly. All right, here we have Broly. He's got his head up here, which we'll zoom in on in a minute. Um, his Most of his chest is bare. It's just a standard sort of palish skin tone. He has his necklace up here, which is yellow, and has a little blue gem there in the center. He has his bracers down here on these wrists, which are yellow, and have the little blue gems there in the center of those. And he has fists on both hands. Down here around the waist, he has his little skirt bit, and he has the little belt there, which is similar to the necklaces and the boots and the gauntlets and all those sorts of things. He has white pants down there at the bottom, and then he has goldish boots, the blue gems, and little uh, bluish bits down there around the ankles. On the back, you see the standard sort of detail you expect to see, and he has a little production mark there on his back as well. All right, let's zoom in on the head sculpt really quick. Alright, looking at the face sculpt here, you can see he has a very nice maniacal smile on the face. I actually really like the way the face looks. You can see the earrings down there on the ears, and you can see that he has a goldish hair instead of the yellow hair, which is normal. Um, in a way, I think this works better than the yellow hair, since Broly doesn't really have yellow hair. He has sort of greenish yellow hair, and I think gold is closer to that than just flat out yellow. So I think it looks pretty cool, and it's a slightly metallic kind of shade. Now let's zoom out and look at the articulation. Articulation-wise, Broly is pretty lacking, as is everything in this wave, I believe. Uh, pretty much the only thing you get is cut joints here at the shoulders. They go back and forward, and they are pretty easy to pop off as well. Just little pegs there. So, yeah, that's all you get. You get those on both sides. So you can have him doing some uppercuts or something, and that's pretty much about it. Now, he comes with no real accessories, so let's look at the packaging. Broly's packaging is pretty much standard from what I've seen of the Super Battle Collection. They all come in pretty standard boxes with windows there in the front. This one does say gold hair version down there. Big picture of Broly. Cool artwork there. Super Saiyan Broly and some stuff written under it and the Bandai logo down there at the bottom. On the side you get Super Battle Collection Dragon Ball Z logo. Picture of the side of Broly's head. Same deal on the other side. You flip it over on the back you get a picture of Broly, Goku, Gohan. Um, you get some pictures of the figure from different angles. And down here at the bottom, you get the other figures that are in this collection. So there's two Gokus, Piccolo, Vegeta, Trunks, Frieza, another Vegeta, uh, Kid Gohan and Teen Gohan, and then Broly there at the end. You can see that he is much bigger than every other figure they released in this particular little lineup. So yeah, this is certainly good for in-package display, and with a figure like this with minimal articulation, he might look better in-package. It really just depends upon what you want to do, but this is good for in-package display. So, yeah, Broly. All right, the bot wraps it up for Broly, so until next time, goodbye. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. 
Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content, and VR reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.